how to remove taxes and shipping calculated on checkout on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can calculate taxes and shipping and how you can actually remove those automated shipping and tax calculations that Shopify does for you. So let's jump right in. Now there are two portions of this. So we have taxes and shipping as two different things. First off, we want to take out any type of taxes that Shopify adds to the product. Then we want to remove any type of shipping that Shopify adds to the product. So we're going to refresh over here and we're going to take a look at our product over here. I am going to add some stock for this shirt. This is the product that we have. I'm first going to display the product like so. And then I'm just going to save it as it is, refresh our page, and we're going to go back and open up our online store. And we just want to go ahead. For some reason, it's not displaying our product properly. So I'm just going to add a new one. It's going to be our sample product. And I'm just going to use any image that is present like so. And then I will not track the quantity for this. And I'm just going to click on save. I'll add a price as well, like so. So we have our sample product ready and we're going to add a price for this. And one thing to note is that when you're adding prices to any product on Shopify, this is the first section. So how do you remove taxes? You're going to uncheck this option and then just click on save. This will remove the taxes that are present on the product. So whatever product you might have, it's going to remove the taxes on that. Now, how do you do this when you already have a bunch of different products? You can't manually uncheck this. Well, for that, you're just going to go ahead and go into your Shopify dashboard. Once you go into your Shopify dashboard, you're going to go on ahead and go into products on the left. Then you're going to select all of these products together. You can just select this checkbox on the top left. And once you select this checkbox on the top left, you're going to click on bulk edit. Once you click on bulk edit, you will see the base price, the age group, all of the information about your product. And this will ensure that you are able to bulk edit any info. So whatever is your base price, you're just going to set it as that. So whatever is your tax inclusive price, you can just set up your tax inclusive prices over here. So this just makes it really easy for you to do that. And on the top right, you can choose which product information panels you want to display. You can see you have your North America, international, primary market, and then you have your charge taxes column. You're going to turn all of these on, so tick all of these options, and you can just remove all the other options to make it easier for you to edit these. Now, if you scroll ahead, you will see all the markets that this is available in, the base price and the tax price. So you can select all of these options and do a command A. You can just uncheck all of these options all together and you can bulk edit your tax option like so. So whatever taxes you want to charge, if you want to charge on specific products that might be high in products, you can do that. Or if you're not charging taxes, if all of your prices are tax inclusive then you are going to uncheck so we're going to remove all our taxes and now this has removed all the taxes that are added onto your product so this covers the portion of removal of taxes how do you remove shipping even if it's international shipping domestic shipping shipping in your base market whatever type of shipping it is how do you remove it so if you want to offer store-wide free shipping, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left. And once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to go on ahead and click on shipping and delivery. Now, you will have your shipping rates and you're going to go into the shipping rates over here and you will see the standard shipping. So for any type of shipping zone that you have created or market zone that you have created, you are going to click on the shipping for that zone, click on edit rate, and we're going to set this as zero, and we're going to change the custom rate name to free shipping, and then just click on done. 
Then click on save on the top and this will edit the shipping rate for the United States, Mexico, and Canada. Now going into our secondary shipping market, which is our general shipping market, we're going to go on ahead, go into the standard shipping, click on edit rate, and I will add zero as the standard shipping. Then click on save on the top right. Now, once you've done that, you will see your shipping profiles are set as free shipping. Now, a really easy way to set up free shipping for every region possible is to simply go on ahead, click on new profile, and this is going to be my all products. You can click on add product, you can choose all of the shipping zones, you can select all of the continents. So just select Asia, Europe, North America, Oceania, Australia, and then New Zealand, and then just click on done. This is the zone name called all zones. Okay, you're just going to do that. And this is going to include all of the zones. Click on add rate, and you're going to use a flat rate. This is going to be free shipping and set the rate as zero and then just click on done. Now for any type of order that I receive, I will, uh, my Shopify checkout is going to display free shipping for all of those regions. I don't have to worry about international customers getting a shipping rate, whereas one region might not be getting a shipping rate. All of them are going to be able to see free shipping. Now, if you want to set up free shipping for certain regions and not set it up for certain regions, you can just go into custom shipping rates. I'm going to remove this shipping zone, which includes all markets. So let's say I want to set up $10 shipping for Canada and I want to set up free shipping for the United States. So what I'm going to do is that my general rate is meant for my home country and I'm going to leave it as it is, but I'm going to click on new profile over here. And I'm going to scroll down and I am going to click on add shipping zone and I am just going to name this the US and I'm just going to search for the United States like so and just select that and click on done. After that, I'll click on add rate and this is going to be free shipping and I'll just click on done. And now I have free shipping for the United States and I can click on save and I'll just add a profile name. And then after that, I'll click on new profile, name this Canada, and I'll click on add shipping zone, search for Canada over here. And once I search for Canada, it's in North America. I can't see where have they listed Canada. Yeah. So we, here we have Canada. I'm just going to select Canada and I'll click on done and I'll click on add rate and I can add a $10 rate, which is going to be my standard shipping and I'll click on done. And now you can set up free shipping rates and shipping rates for certain regions, whereas you cannot include them for certain regions as well. Now, what about other taxes and duties? Well, if you click on the taxes and duties tab on the left, you can actually set up a regional settings on taxes if you don't want to offer tax, if your prices are not tax inclusive for every region. You might be um, charging taxes on some product variants or on some regions. So you can go on ahead and use some of their applications as well as include tax and product price and shipping rates. You can charge sales taxes or charge VAT on digital goods. So this really depends on how your business is operating. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.